on Funniest Pets and People. A horse goes bobbing for Bob. A baby's first word is yuck. A dog at the end of his rope. And a guy competes at Moto Crunch. <laughs> so slide on over. And get ready to smile. It's the show that will have you sit, stay, laugh, and beg for more. Welcome to Funniest Pets and People. It's H2, oh my, fun with water. You know, this brings up a question. You always hear about women and children first, right? But where do dogs fit in? Well, what are you gonna do? Corky was too short to get on the ride Pirates of the Caribbean. Buddy must really trust his owner because if he falls off, it could mean, you guessed it, a bath. It was a vicious cycle. Owner tries to clean the window, which revs up the dog, who barks spittle on the windows. So owner tries to clean the window, which revs up the dog, which blah, 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 yakety schmackety, you know what I'm talking about. Unfortunately for Wendell, you can lead a horse to water and you can make him drink. Uh, of course, he probably should have been suspicious when the brochure said the Dude Ranch also featured hot tubs. <laughs> now, nah, don't be fooled by the phrase cool ranch tortilla chips. You polish off a bag of those suckers, buddy, you're gonna be thirsty with a capital T. Yeah, you can't really blame the horse for drinking this way, though, especially when his only option is this. Now this is a wonderful time-saving way to help your cat get fresh water. Unless you ever want to get in there to brush your teeth, wash your face, gargle or shave ever again in this lifetime. But don't worry, it won't last. Once the cats realize the letters on the faucet don't mean H for halibut and C for chicken, <laughs> I wish I had a video of that. The spaghetti splattered on the floor, but not the wall? Oh, and you call yourself a baby. Well, actually, this is just the baby's way of saying, a bit too al dente. Get out the video camera. Look what I can do. The good news, you've taught the dog how to open and close the door. The bad news? Well, you know. But on the upside, this hidden camera video finally explains how 18 houses in the neighborhood were cleaned out of bacon. Marine, to come. Stop. In hindsight, his owner wasn't really sure it was smart to teach him this trick so soon after painting the garage floor. And some unexpected good news. Yesterday, Sammy won a trophy at the dog show for most fabulous dog. Say hello to the newest member of the Iska Spaz. Yeah. But the amazing thing is, the skating judges all gave him a 10 to pay the taxi driver to take him to the hospital. Meet the future champion Apple Bobber of Calaveras County. But hey, you'd do the same thing if you'd been fed a diet of strained peas for six months. Still, we're all wondering, 
Why doesn't he just sneak a bite like the rest of us? At midnight, with a flashlight. Now well, he'll learn. Cats are very determined critters. Oh, no, 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 not to learn tricks, to stay clean. And he'll keep rolling and rubbing all day, if necessary, until he gets that gray smudge off his head. On the list of things to do, this dog's owners have got to lower that outdoor light switch. But the truth is, ever since that family trip to the horse ranch, Elvis here keeps going for anything that looks like a dinner bell. Now, you've all heard of a UFO, right? Well, say hello to a UFO. <laughs> yeah. Truth is, Billy here figured if he practiced day and night, eventually he'd be good enough to get majorly downloaded on the internet. So after filming for many hours, Billy finally quit his hobby and joined the choir instead. As a soprano. Sure, Fritz is smiling again. Now that he's using new Zest Doggy Tooth Whitening Strips. <laughs> Zest Doggy Tooth Whitening Strips. Because you never know when you might sniff that special someone. <laughs> It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's a dog wearing a plastic cape hanging from a rope. Okay, so the pooch can't see through steel or leap buildings in a single bound. But can Superman knock out a bad guy with his breath? Yeah. <laughs> Coming up, a kitty who can quilt. And the world's youngest music critic. When we return to Funniest Pets and People. Welcome back to Funniest Pets and People. And now, the best way to get a laugh, with a little help from my friends. Oh, this is working out great, except for one small problem. The dog has no thumb to grip the pooper scooper. <laughs> but still, everyone agreed the What It's Like to Be Another Animal exchange program was a big success. See, this is one of those classic, you scratch my back, I lick yours agreements. Actually, while you see a dog licking a mole, what he sees is a really, really stubborn flea. But the pooch figures, hey, if 100 licks won't get it off, then what do you try next? 101. You know why this cat is helping her owner sew? Such a good boy. Well, because she can't shred the curtains until her owner makes them. <laughs> Though it's a little less impressive when you realize that this cat is, in fact, inspector number 12.
Alex needed a massage and the horse needed to scratch his head. So it's a win-win, right? But hey, when you have hoofs instead of hands, you gotta use anything you can for a scratching post. The parrot could say over 30 words. But it seems uncle was not one of them. The irony is, in about a minute, Bowser will no longer be able to smell trouble. But it's okay. His owners later changed his name from Humphrey Barkalot to Claude Rains. <laughs> Here comes the slide. There you go, honey. Oh, of course, now it's clear why the bride has cold feet. <laughs> hey, it's Funniest Pets and People. Rewind. Well, oh, even this half seen up here. The question isn't why is this duck getting a free ride as the dog goes to fetch? He's back oh. on the train. The question is how did the duck throw that ball? <laughs> If you want your kids to have fun and get the room clean, try the Woofter from p and &E. <laughs> Your kids will love it, and the Woofter will get every last dust bunny and have a good time chasing them while he's at it. <laughs> the Woofter from p and &E. Some assembly required. When you're buying a piano for the family, make sure you go with a Faberman. They're butt-tested. <laughs> if you've got kids and you love music, hey, go with a Faberman. <laughs> Even though they have great taste and a lot of fashion sense, we don't know if this spin-off Emu eye for the straight guy is really gonna work. <laughs> the dog really didn't understand why his owner was flipping a leash, but he figured it was like getting a lot of little walks. Actually, he's thinking, if I can just edge her into the swimming pool, what's on the stove is all mine. If you think about it, this is a great way to work out your body and have fun at the same time. <laughs> Not jumping rope with your dog, laughing at this clip. Well, now we all know how Lost ends. But these folks should have seen the signs this was gonna happen. Like the one that said, dock capacity, five people. If you think they're eating fast, stick around. They spit seeds like a fire hose. But this makes a lot more sense when you realize these guys have spent a lifetime eating breadcrumbs and worms. And while it does look chaotic, each of these little ducks is actually taking care of his own, um, bill. Check it out. This guy is the best in the country at ruining skis. Please don't try this at home. Remember, this is a professional indoor sombrero-wearing garage skier. Yep, after this, he'll be down in the electrical room having a hot chocolate in front of the furnace. But the really amazing thing is not his skiing. It's all those open parking spaces. Looking crazy. Well, you know what they say, if it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck. <gasps> Wait! <laughs> it must be some kind of crazy, out of control, denim eating duck. <laughs> He's stuck. <laughs> Coming up, a man and his dog hound the neighbors. And the kitty gets jiggy with it. When we return to Funniest Pets and People.
Welcome back to Funniest Pets and People. Come on, loosen that tie. It's playtime. Okay, we've heard of heavy petting, but this is ridiculous. Actually, it's kind of amazing these two could fall in love in the first place, right? Uh, no, no, not because they're different species, but because the dog wasn't allowed on the couch. What are you looking at? Like so many great rock groups, they were headed for the top. When a fight broke them apart. But you can't blame the dog. He just hates it when his owner's off key. In the Yukon, they start them early, training for the Iditarod. And it's probably a good thing. <laughs> you ever heard of getting along like cats and dogs? See, the truth is the two animals had an arrangement. OK, the dog would remove the cat's collar if the cat would shred his stupid doggy sweater. And it didn't hurt that the collar had the same texture as beef jerky. Oh, here comes little Jakey having his favorite drink. Oh, don't worry, he didn't fall. He just takes really, really, really short naps. Wow, and you thought it was tough getting the remote control back from your wife, huh? <laughs> but you know, you really can't blame this little bunny rabbit. He heard there was a home and garden channel and he just wanted to see what a carrot looks like on a big screen. Try these clips on for size. It's fashion do's and don'ts. Sarah and Arnie may think they're good, and the truth is the couple can beat all their friends. But no one can touch Mitzi when it comes to the deadly art of a staring contest. The battery. No one. <laughs> What a pro. She doesn't even break after she's won. Way to go, Mitzi. Well, it's Christmas, and the family has decided to dress up the dog in Christmas lights. But the dog doesn't really mind, because ironically, everybody keeps telling him how bright he is. <laughs> but there is a downside. If his owner is like most guys, those Christmas ornaments aren't coming off until July. Go get it. This may look pretty funny, but you have to take the cat seriously, because he was trying to make a point. OK, that was an easy shot. But the truth is, it's better to let the cat express himself. Otherwise, he just masks his emotions. <laughs> we'll be here all week, folks. And now, we rejoin the hysterical new reality show, Nick the Needling Man. Hey, football, over here on your shoulder. Psych. I'm sitting on the end of your whisker. Whoop, <laughs> not fast enough for Nick. Hey, a quick imitation. I'm looking all around confused. Who am I? A kitten, get it? <laughs> now I'm a hypnotist. You're getting dizzy. Dizzy. <laughs> And that was the last and final episode of Nick the Needling Nag. <laughs> when you book a vacation through a bargain basement travel agent, you better be prepared for what all the phrases really mean. Luxury suite refers to a hard candy on your bunk bed, and top draw Vegas entertainment can mean a singing dog from Nevada small enough to sleep in your drawer.
They say a cat always lands on his feet. But they say nothing about staying on them. I mean, look at this little fella. Truth is, even other cats call him lazy. He's like the opposite of the Energizer bunny. Unless the bunny was programmed to fall over and over and over and over. But don't worry. Eventually, the chihuahua would want his sweater back. Coming up, a drowsy doggy starts to drift. <laughs> when we return to Funniest Pets and People. Welcome back to Funniest Pets and People. The Gundersons finally let little Bobo stay up till New Year's, and now he was determined to stick it out. <laughs> Must see ball drop. Gotta stay up long enough to see amazing. <laughs> Is that Casey Kasem? No, just a guy with a good haircut. Reminds me I need to get my nails clipped, and I. <laughs> Is it New Year's? No. Uh... See you next time. <laughs> 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 